D-O-X. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the next episode of the Iconoclast of Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, Iconoclast. And I'm your host, Dick Taco. Thank you. And let's get right in, and let's get into this week in the news. So, for some reason, you printed out the format down there. I to record it on the phone, so I don't uh, okay. to I'm afraid to leave the voice recorder app. With all the bad luck and the bad juju we've been having with recorders, with those Bluetooth mics fucking up. I'd rather just, you know, I, I want this page open to where I can see it. Speaking of, before we start, I just wanted to tell, um, so I got a brand new TV yesterday. Yeah, I heard 58 Samsung. Yeah. Your I, mother I, don't listen to me. I said, hi, since Roku. No, well, now I got Pluto TV like I had down in Florida. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so I was chilling out. I was watching the, 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 uh, the Totally Turtles channel, which oh, is did? a, what? Is it Ninja Turtles? Yes. It plays Ninja Turtles five days a week. They had a the channel week. like that on YouTube. I was watching it the other day. I used to watch it when I was a kid. No, but they got all the Ninja Turtles shows. But it, it reminded me of something. Um, who was... Which wrestlers were on Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling? Oh, Christ. Everybody. It was Hogan. All the bit, The good guys were like Hogan, Andre. <laughs> uh, Billy Jack Hayes. They, that's what I was telling you last yes. time. Yes. He was supposed to come two years before that because they filmed him for the cartoon. They didn't come until because he went to world class instead. But yeah, I'm trying to remember like Junkyard Dog because they were always racing. They're like, get down. He'd be like, get down. And he'd start dancing. So racist. <laughs> God, that's terrible. Uh, get like, down. It was not good. I remember watching it sparingly, but you got to understand 80 Saturday morning cartoons after your mother. They were the shit. All we were waiting for was 11 o'clock on Channel 6 and you get bumped Bunny. But some of the other ones, like, did you ever hear the one Captain N, the Game Master? The guy got sucked into his Nintendo, and he's with, like, Princess Zelda, Simon Belmont, who's, like, a total queer. Um, and uh, who else is it? I'm trying to, uh, Mega Man. Sounds like know? a big commercial. Yeah, it is, basically. Okay, well. Uh, that I might wanna, have been on, like, NBC. For well, I wanted to start with this. Jericho tweets for the first time since his drunken oh, allegations. No, no, no. no, for the six. That's the Nick Houseman al- allegations about the NDAs after his drunk. Oh, stupid. okay. Uh, no, you're right. You're right on time. Saying, quote, you can't soar like an eagle when you surround yourself with turkeys. I, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Oh, boy. I just uh, think of WKRP in Cincinnati. God is my witness. Yeah. I who who, who knows? Lie. Maybe on this week's episode of Dynamite, he'll walk out naked and completely... I don't know, but he's... Arrest. He's what people call spiraling, like when they're losing their mental faculties. Well, I told you about that time where um, he claimed that he was abducted by aliens. Oh, what? Because he got lost on a country road? No, he says he's an asshole. He says it would have ta- should have taken him two hours. It took him five. So then he All says right, that well, aliens let abducted. Let me tell you this: Canadian math genius Chris Jericho. If you're used to going sixty-five. And you're on an old country road. And you're only going 25. It's going to take you longer. Well, that, cause they He turns just, it into goddamn fire in the sky. And then Jim Cornette talked about it. Oh, that's where I heard it. Saying oh, that, what, about the country road? Yeah. I remember saying, that, yeah. Saying that he's got CTE problems then, because apparently... He might. He time, comes from that generation that took chair shots without putting their hands up. He was an FM fucking W. He was in, yeah. He was in um, FNW uh, when he was like my age. Yeah. He was there when, uh, he was there when the WWF had their tour there in 94. No, no, no. That was war. Wrestling Wrestling, Asso- wrestling and romance. Otherwise known as Wrestle Association R. Which, which is what it is. Yeah, what they changed it to, but Wrestle and Romance. That was Ted Rue or something. That was a decent, uh, decent promotion. All right. Hulk Hogan <laughs> saves girl from flipped car. Must be the power of the Lord and I'm from getting baptized. I still can't believe he wore the white bandana. Oh, God, he wore it. He always had uh, I also wanted to talk about... Um, <coughs> Both. I don't know if it's on here, but they announced some stuff for 2K24 today. I did not put 2K24 in order, but you're welcome to talk about it because I just read that. Today. I saw some stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to buy it because I don't get these games every year. But I do like the 40... 
Because I'll tell you, when I bought 2K14, the 30 years of WrestleMania mode, that was neat. And you had the Undertaker streak mode, which is one of the hardest things in the history of wrestling games. I beat the streak, right, with a creator wrestler, Kevin Owens. When I tell you, I had to get him outside the ring and beat him within an inch of his life with a chair until I just left him there to die for a count out. And then you won by count out? Yes, I did, because I'm a cheap ass. Thank you very much. Who do you think should have broken the streak? I think Lesnar was fine. I thought I would have liked to see the no. year before when Punk did it. Because Punk, that's that might be the greatest match of the streak. The match with Lesnar at 30, Undertaker pulled something in it or he tore something. So about less than a third of the way through, it turns into like a mat wrestling match. Like a grappling match. That's not bad. No, but I'm just saying it's not the Undertaker. Well, other than the Golga Plata, the Hell's Gate. He does not, I know he's like an MMA fan. He always wore the gloves and he's like what they call him, the greatest striker in WWE history. I'm like, but. What's the, what do you think's the worst match of this streak? Him versus Giant Gonzalez? Yeah, that would be tough to beat. I'm trying to think. Hold on. Sid King. Nah, well, Giant Gonzalez, second uh, were, WrestleMania 15 in Philly. Well, the boss man. Big boss man? Where he had a hell of a cell match with him in the middle of the card. <laughs> and he hung him at the end. By <laughs> yeah, you could see by his neck, still. But you could see the fucking... No, you could see the hardest on his back. I was reading something about guys who... Uh, that like when, that Apparently he went to WCW in the 90s at one point. The boss man? Yeah. yeah and he, he was the He the was boss? the guardian. No, he came in as the boss. And then he had to change it to the, the guardian, guardian angel. angel. And he dressed like the fucking guardian then, angel. Yeah, the guardian angel was on the subway in New York. Yeah. And then he went back to being Big Bubba Rogers, who he was in Mid-South back in the day. Right, because then what was the thing? He was Cornette's bodyguard back in the day. Because he was the thing where he took, um, where he was, uh... He took Big Show's dad's coffin. Oh, and then, I just showed the oldest boy that upstairs. Yes. I then, still, 25 years later, I die laughing. And then, I watched that live. I was in stitches. Wait, was that Big Show's, like, did, did his dad really die? No, it's all a show. You can, How can you even ask that about wrestling? Well, I don't know about that. We're, we're talking about the cartoon world of professional wrestling. Well, because back then, you know, they bored the lines more, but... Well, yeah, or, you, well, or also you couldn't look it up as much because okay, the internet well, was in its infancy. Well, because... Um, no, it was... Uh, and then he also killed Al Snow's dog. Pepper? Yeah, Pepper, Pepper on a pole. pole. Oh, God. That's, that's so, the... That's... Oh, the worst part of that, they had a kennel... One of Vince Russo's last bastions of WWF. The kennel, the kennel from hell match. <laughs> it was a steel cage covered with a hell in a cell. So there's a steel cage inside of a hell in a cell. Stick with me. And around it is supposed to be these vicious fucking dogs who all they did was lick them to death when they got thrown out there. Right. Think of a lumberjack match with dogs licking you to death. It what the awful. hell is this? The Punjabi prison match? No, that made more sense. <laughs> I, I don't even know how that match worked. All right. Okay, let's get back to this, I guess. I uh, AEW has been confiscating signs about Kylie Ray and anything negative about Jericho. It's amazing. Well, because you see, uh, Tony Khan's uh, genitals are buried deep in Chris Je- in Chris Jericho's throat. <laughs> yeah, you see, Chris Jericho performed He's poetry to Chris about a lot of stuff. Like I know he shouldn't. No, but he has been because he has been listening to the has been. Because oh, Chris is just stealing his money. He he, he's like the big... He, he was the first champ, right? Yes. So he was the first big marquee guy. Yes, but he's not needed anymore. He was needed when they were first starting out. He doesn't even have... No matter what kind of shape he gets in either, he still looks like... like His a, muscles He look looks like, like a, gla- gla- a wet trash bag filled with oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like it looks like his... I don't know if it's from that concave chest thing he has. He's always had that, though. But Even when he was like a cruiserweight. But it looked like his muscles are falling off his side. Well, he's older. I mean, it happens. I mean, it's Scott a, Steiner had a, Hogan. A, I mean, also. Scott Steiner had a concave chest, and I mean, and he was the big bad booty daddy yes. with, with his number one freak, Medasia. Oh, whatever. But is Kylie Ray the one that they're saying that he made her sign an NDA for some kind of sexual harassment? She's the one that is saying something. He is, she is the one that apparently he behaved inappropriately towards. You know what? People might get mad when I say this, but I'm not, I don't advocate sexual assault. I never did. But some people like, I remember Andrew Cuomo like asking the woman about, 
you know, if she would be interested in an older man. And she was like, oh, upset. Well, like, how are you supposed to try to get laid? You got to do the work. Okay, okay. We're not talking about this All on right. the show. We Park are- to confront Cody Rhodes on... 122 Raw. I wrote 123. Okay, well, because you see, Seth Rollins is injured now. Yeah, we're, He's get, got a we're torn getting into that a little later. But now, that I don't, throws a major monkey wrench. Because Now, I don't know how serious a torn MCL is compared to a torn ACL. Well, your grandmother had it done. And other older... It's it's prevalent in football and older women for some reason. Like, you have trouble going up and down stairs. It won't hurt you walking up and, like, walking straight. But like, if you watch your grandmother, she, she had surgery. I still has trouble going up steps. I know yes. other people. But in the NFL, when you tear your MCL, you're out for like maybe like four or six weeks. And you come back. You tear your ACL, you're done for the year. Okay, so yeah. maybe he'll be back in time for WrestleMania? Yeah, but... He won't be back in time for the Royal Rumble. Uh, yeah, Royal Rumble's this no, Saturday. We, yeah, a, yeah, we got that here, right? Seth Rollins toward MCL. It's tomorrow as of this airing. Yeah. And it seems like you heard about Okada's leaving NJPW. He, he's not coming to WWE. But they're eyeing him because of this Rollins thing. Because now they may be short one person. Oh, what, so they're going to sign him just to bring him in for WrestleMania? Well, it's a big name. I, I mean, just, think of it from a business standpoint here. Okay? Think of it from just, just hear me out. I know you're all about the in-ring product and that's it, but you have to look at it all. It's all encompassing. And it's all, I mean, you know. Um, but that's apparently the thing. January, he's not going to be at the Royal Rumble. His contract goes up to the 31st. So yes, anybody exactly. thinking he's going to be in the Rumble, forget it. Unless, I guess, I don't know how New Japan does no compete if they do one or he's just whatever. But they're talking about, yeah, because now the, the thing is they're talking about now is, where is it? Roman Reigns is not advertised for Elimination Chamber in Australia. No, he is not. Or Backlash in Paris. No, he is not. But he will not. be at the Rumble with the four-way, isn't it? No, no, Backlash is in Lyon, I thought, not Paris. Oh, it's, oh I'm sorry, France. We'll say France, sorry. Uh, and then Robert, I think yeah. in the summer... Elimination Chamber is in Perth, Australia. Right? Yeah, and in yeah. the summertime, I think there's supposed to be a pay-per-view in Berlin. Bash in Berlin, I thought I saw it mentioned somewhere. Oh. What's with all these international shows now? I don't know. Just, they, they think it shows like... I just you know, feel like... The global, the global like reach of your program. Like You want to talk about... Did you ever hear the story how Vince Russo got on the creative team? No. Back in 97... Cornette tells the story better than I do because he hates that motherfucker. But back in 97, they did Raw from Berlin, Germany, because they were doing the European title tournament. And they were like, oh, it'll be the global, show the global reach of the WWF. But it was the, it was the drizzling shits, the show. It was like it was too dark. They would go back to the studio in Connecticut. You'd see somebody's fucking head. It was just a horrible show. And apparently the next day, Vince just laid into everybody that had anything to do with it. And the only person that had anything to do with it was Russo. So he put him on Committee. He's like, you know what? He had to do it, and I'm putting him on a committee. He was right. He's right for the magazine, pal. Not some good. Oh, not some good wrestling. I told you you're knowledge. Not, you're not oh, right. speaking of, um, I haven't actually know. I tried looking up something to do with Hannibal recently. No. You, do you know I skip his shit on purpose? <laughs> I was at work today <clears throat> in my office doing paperwork, listening to like. You know, YouTube. I was listening to something about O.J. Simpson, the 25th anniversary of you know, <laughs> the murder. Um, but I was listening to stuff about Benoit and listening to, like, shoots from Angle and uh, Kevin Sullivan and all that. And it goes to the Hannibal TV when I was like, skip. <laughs> what? Did you, you see my thing last thing with the, uh, uh, bro. bro. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, that was, that so was great. That made me, and then I, whoo <laughs> No, because I don't, I don't get it. Why do you hate him so much? Because he's a fucking retard idiot. Like, he ate something he ate something he wasn't supposed to as a kid. I don't want to steal Brian last comment, but he said that kid guy ate paint chips as a kid, and I want to question the toxicity of Canadian paint chips. I mean he's a big motherfucker, but apparently that whole thing with Abby and the, the hepatitis C cost him everything. And then he sued Abby one and you know, died because he went because I remember, home. well, because that was in Dark Side of the Ring. He never paid me anything. Not not a freaking penny. He never paid me anything. Abby used to have these things. He used to have I know, he used razor to blades in his fingers. Yeah, he used to And he would tell them. Bam Bam in the corner. He'd be like, hey, Tim, hip toss me. He goes, get out of here. Don't touch me with that Because <laughs> he would cut you without you even being ready for Which it. I think should be a... Which I think... No, like, what, you should be able to talk about that in a locker room. Like, I'm going to cut you at this point. Yes. You're going to get juice. Well, well again, I don't think that they... 
the whole practice of cutting with the razor blades was I think sanitary in the first place. You know that blood is needed though. Yes. To tell a story. Yes. I made swerve. I didn't advocate to drinking it because I'd never seen that before. But Yes, but I at the very least, if you're using the razor blades, can you make sure they're fucking clean? Well, I, sh- I imagine they would by now. Yeah, but not back then. Or can you make sure... Yeah, but you weren't worried about, like, AIDS or anything. And I'm sure a lot of them had hepatitis C anyway, because they were drunks. Well, because now most of them... Now they have to keep it... They had, now they have to test for bloodborne illnesses. They started that in the 90s, I remember, after that. There was a rumor that I remember... Uh, Kevin told me he read, like, you know, the early days of the internet, Lex Luger had AIDS. I'm like, well, he's bleeding like a stuck pig over on Channel 16. <laughs> what was so, Channel 16? It was TNT. I was like, he's bleeding like a stuck pig over there, so I don't know if they got the memo. The Lex Express with his parachute pants Did American. You see that? He's on the top. That was the queerest. I mean. <laughs> he's in a wheelchair now. Yeah, fuck. Well, he's a murderer. I told you. I no, don't have to but didn't he also have a lot of drug problems, too? Yeah, especially around that time. Uh, he, speaking he, of Ric Flair, did you watch any football at your house last weekend? Uh, uh, the, uh, no, Eagles but lost? I saw him? that it says that he was there. Fans concerned over Ric Flair's health after his red ass shows up at the Eagles. What do you mean his red ass? He was red as fuck wearing a Bucks jersey. <laughs> he's Go, always red. He's always red. He was red. Yeah, but he's a, wearing a red Bucks jersey. He was, so his, he looked like all red up to the white, the yellow hair, whatever he had. He was know. red as a beet. If you go back and watch the woo off he had with Jay Lethal, he's red as a beet in that. You can't do me. I'm turning you off right now. Woo! You're talking about a guy kiss stealing, Rolex wearing, a guy that can kiss any girl, including that fat one, and make her cry. Woo! Woo! Anyway. Woo! Anyway. Wings! Wings! All right, we're loose. We're going. On. We're going crazy again here. This one's the show. Now, okay, now I want to talk about who, whichever dumb motherfucker uh, wrote Bill Demott. Okay. Um, oh, oh, where is it? Oh, I, I want to talk about this. This I guy do. don't know shit. Well, I, so, I can't believe he even has a job in the wrestling. After he used to be the performance tr- uh, center guy until he was like beating the shit out of people. Like, he was doing, like, old school, like, New Japan Dojo stuff to people. Like, you know. Stretching. Waterboarding people or something. I don't know. Like, okay, so he was treating like Guantanamo for the prisoners. I watched this match. I did not, and I'm upset I didn't because I heard, I did not hear a bad thing about it. This was an amazing match. I think it proves that, now, Hook is very young. He's maybe a year older than me. Yeah, he's not old at all. He's 21 or 22. He's not that old. Yeah, he's old what enough you, to... I'm 19. You don't oh, know 19. how fucking old your nephew is? Well, it's... No. It, Close. Uh, no, he's old enough to be my roommate. But the point is that uh, I think that this proves... It proves that within 10 or 15 years, he's going to be the top guy. He's a good guy. But he's a good worker. You could tell, you know... I mean, he doesn't guy. have... He doesn't really talk that much, but that's kind of his character. But I understand what Bill DeMott said here. Bill, I, what, now, what I wrote was Bill DeMott, a busted open radio, wants to know why he felt bamboozled into 117 Dynamite main event. He said, how do you beat Hook now? It's the first title defense for the new champion, and they built the challenger, not the champion. I said that maybe Hook, that was like an audition yes. for him to get a major push. Yes, it was. And that's what it was. Joe he's beat him for being as slight as he is. Well, he's got big hands. Too. Well, because he's... Um, well, again, Taz is his father. Yeah, but he's bigger than the old man. His Taz is only about 5'8". He's not... Yeah, but he's got all Taz's moves. He does the, the Taz-plex. He calls it, they call it a T-bone suplex. Nothing was better than watching him when he was ECW champion, fucking people up. And when he took Jerry Bam, er, drove him through the ring. And Joey Styles was just like, head and arm Taz-plex. Catch oh, my Taz-plex. God. <clears throat> he was so good. Head, 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 head. No, but um, speaking of the one seventeen so, dynamite, no, so oh, he um, now again it went back and forth, but Joe did beat him and then beat him up after the bell. Again, it, it was very even, but the point was that it showed. Now again, like the, his last big program, I think before this was with Jungle Boy over the FTW title. Yeah, Jack Perry. So calling that a big program is like a. That's like, you know, whistle, yeah, but, walking yeah, but, through a men's locker room, whistling whistle Stranger in Paradise. 
What'd you say? I know that, that was about Vince Russo, right? Couldn't find his ass with two hands and a road map. Couldn't find his ass if he sat on his hands. <laughs> God, but you speaking, hate him. I do. But speaking about the hook stuff, though, I got He's a former of, WCW world champion. Did you know that? David Arquette. And that's why, where's WCW now? <laughs> you can still Where play. You can still play them in the 2K uh, My GM mode. Tony Codd needs to look a little bit at uh, Eric Bischoff and look at some of his stuff because Eric Bischoff, I admit he threw Turner's money around, but he got quality people to fit spots. Tony, to me, just seems like he's collecting people sometimes. Well, I think it's a lot of it's just collecting people to make sure they don't go to WWE. Yeah, but this isn't like, you know, a divisional football rival. Like, you're the Ravens, I'm the Browns. I signed this guy just so you can't get him. Like, I think just to... It's business, like you said. It's business. Oh, don't use me against me. You're not. It's not fair. But speaking you of... You can't the, do me, and I'm cutting you off right now. Cut me off. You can't cut me off. Woo! Woo! Oh, the shoe's coming off. Woo, daddy! All right. Joe versus Hook on Diamond on 117. I had a problem with Hook kicking out of Joe's finish at one. He kicked out of the, all, all the other moves at two. Yeah, but that's the... First of all, finishers in wrestling have become, they might as well rename them because they don't finish shit. Go back and watch, what was it, Royal Rumble 2014? Cena versus Orton? To the uh, freaking, uh, they kept doing each other's finishes on them. They kept kicking out. I'm like, well, what's the point of the moves then? They can't finish shit. <laughs> and also, Hook's promo, eating the pizza. I, I don't know anything it, about that. I reference it, you got to look it up. It's a good promo. It's a good old school promo. He's like walking around Brooklyn. Eating pizza, talking about he references the Jinder Mahal disc when he said who's hooked. I thought that was hysterical. Well, Tony again, Khan went through that whole diatribe of Hook's records, and he just goes, "Who's Hook?" <laughs> Jinder. I fucking hate Jinder Mahal. Man, next year we're going out on Halloween. I'm being Jinder, you're being Drew McIntyre, and your cousin's being Heath Slater. Dude, wear a wear a three man band. I wanted to do it this year, but I thought of it too late. We're a three man band. We're getting pictures. Do, 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 do. All right. All right. Didn't, no, I didn't, got complaints about you saying you can't do it anymore. No, because didn't Drew have the, uh, the the cowboy hat? I'm not in the beginning. They all just wore like their dad and shit. They dumb bottom pants. They were. They, they couldn't win a match. They were like that version, the 2014 version of the Squad. Dude, do, do, right. do, 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 do. Did you see? Ring of Honor, Super Court of Honor. It's May the be, 5th will be at the... Or April the 5th will be at Lee Corps Center. Isn't Philly. there going to be a bunch of stuff that week, too? Isn't that how wrestling... Wrestling. We need to look at stuff for that weekend. We got to go to something. I want to go to something. I hope they're at the ECW arena. See, if AEW was smart, they would run that for something. That place would be, like, crawling with people. Just because you would be... Like, you talk about they put 5,000 people because they quarter it off for a 20,000 arena. You put 5,000 people... You, you, you would think they'd be out on the street. And it's cool there because there's an opening with garage doors. Like I told you, Phil and I stood there and watched Okada uh, and maybe just because, Shaky Nakamura against the Briscoes. Just, maybe, uh, maybe it's just because Impact does a lot of shows there. And when Impact does it, it looks fucking empty. So well, nobody goes to that. Nobody goes to Impact. You said, I mean, other than the only time I've ever been interested is when o- Osprey comes to town. That's it. I have no other interest in Well, watching. now apparently Impact's main guy is going to be Nick Nemeth. He came out of an indie show to uh, Dolph's music the other day, too. Because it wasn't televised. I'm sure they could use it. In trouble. So it's like the when we went to that South Shore wrestling, they had the Mr. Clean gimmick. He, he had heat, too. You were telling me, like, he's got heat. I'm like, yeah, but he can't go anywhere. <laughs> he he can't either. fucking use this gimmick. It'll cost millions. That, that, that actually had a very interesting match stipulation. The, the falls count somewhere where only the referee knew where the match could end. So then well, they, had to keep, they had to keep trying to pin each other around the arena. And then the place you had to pin them turned out to be under the ring. So that's where the match ended. So You got first, that all. I wasn't, we weren't even there that long. How do you remember that? You would have bitch the most one to get out of there. I didn't even think you were paying attention. You and my oldest really was like, oh, sucks. It's not AEW. We were taking a piss with one of the wrestlers. It was crazy. I said, like, you don't see that in AEW, do you? Is that how the ECW re- arena was? I never went there one day with was ECW. Yeah, I know, because you never... I know. I wasn't allowed. You never made the pilgrimage. I wasn't allowed. I tried to go. One time I tried to steal in the car and get caught. So. <laughs> I, I, dude, when I was 17, get, getting out of Wildwood, I wouldn't know where the fuck I was going. I would have got to Rio Grande and turned around. I would have never made it to Philly. 
But, uh, all right, Dynamite on that 117, last little bit of news I got from that. 890, 891,000 views up from the week before. Maybe the Samoa Joe era will be uh, doing something for that. I think he should have looked a little more. I mean, I agree with bringing up Hook, like pumping him up. But your champion in his first defense should look like no, but he's not about to drop it. At any for time. most of the match, Joe was beating him up. All right, I'm going to watch it. I have it on the DVR. But uh, WBD Sports rebranded as TNT Sports. I don't even know what that is. WBD. It must be their sports division. Probably what AEW is all on the TV. But now it's all TNT Rollins Sports. Rollins versus Punk. That's... Uh, ugh. What? What are you talking about Rollins versus Punk? What do we got over here? Oh! Speaking of more idiots on Busted Open Radio, did you read the last thing I wrote? Per Busted Open Radio, Bully Ray does <laughs> Jack Perry will be AEW's top heel. You God, weren't you kidding when you said those assholes on that show got brain damage. No, well, who's even on there? It's Devon, Bully Ray, Tommy Dreamer. I didn't even see Devon. It was Bully Ray, Tommy Dreamer, and Bill DeMott when I watched it. Uh, Mostly okay. those three when I watched it. Because uh, I thought, I, mean, I thought that they had, they they have you other people there too. On my channel. There's a podcast. Or something. No. It's iconic classic wrestling radio now. Oh, okay. So. But anyway, well, as we know, Dreamer has severe brain damage because a- after he ate his wife, uh, what? you're the one who made that joke. Oh, That's why he got fat. Out. He because he ate Beulah. Oh yeah, she's still married now. He said he's like one hit away from like he also he said he left the groceries in the car one day all the food got spoiled. I'm like, dude, God. stop getting hit in the head. It's that fucking simple. You're fifty some years old. Okay, he was just wrestling at But the, he's a guy that had a job in the office too. Like an Why did he give that up? Because he thinks he can wrestle still. And I guess guess what, Tommy? You never could wrestle. Okay. I thought you liked him in ECW. I did like Tommy. But Tommy was it was not about his wrestling. He it had was that, about the violence. He had that great rivalry with Raven. Yeah, he had a rivalry with Sandman before that. When he knocked a cigarette into the Sandman's eye. And he was out forever. He was out for the longest time. And Paul Heyman said he didn't even answer his door at the house. He had his wife do it. He goes, total kayfabe. Ranking system returns to AEW. That's just great. I am so happy to hear this. I really miss the rating system. I would love checking it every week. When I was in high school, and apparently I heard this from one of my sources. Um, you have sources? Yeah, your sister, uh, uh, my mother. Uh, uh, it's like said, Mama Cornette. <laughs> apparently, um, the reason the rankings got got rid of in the first place was by Punk's advice. Punk didn't think that they were condu- that they were conducive to good storylines. Well, it's it's not really anymore. Like in the eighties, I remember. In the 80s or early 90s, like you watch WCW on Saturday, WCW had a ranking system. After the first couple matches, the first 10 minutes of the show, they give you the weekly top 10 and tell you who the world champion was. But like Lex Luger be the champion and would give you the top 10. I mean, the top the number one was always the no, US but because I also really like it because you can tell in the beginning that there's it's like you can see the long term booking. Yeah. Of which guys are in the top five. Well, you saw those old magazines I have too with all the top tens around the world. It makes a better understanding for the casual it's like, thing. It's like you can see the guy at number one who's going to get the shot. Yeah. And, you know, like, they would, you know, bypass it sometimes. Have yeah, like a they, special... yeah, they never stuck to it all the time. They no, stuck but... to it if the story called for it. No, but, like, they would have, like, a battle royal. And then, for, yeah. like, a, and then you would have a guy win that just for the story purposes. Yeah. So, but then you could usually just stick to the, the rankings. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you could have, like, guys that would have more wins would be below a guy with less wins because they would say that they beat better people. So, you know, like, it yeah, wasn't like always, college like... college football, where they beat somebody that's ranked versus... So, like, somebody it wasn't always, yeah. you know, like, 100%, like, legit or anything, but it's all fake anyway. That's what, Well, that's probably where Punk's rationale was going. It's like years ago when people got pissed when Vince came out to the athletic commissions and said it was, you know, choreographed. Ric Flair was like, I wanted to... I'm thinking all these years I'm getting in fights in bars, people calling it fake, and why am I not doing it? But it turned out because you're paying the athletic commission like you're a boxing promoter. Well, why are you paying if it's not an actual sport? It's to maintain kayfabe. Yeah, well, they still maintained kayfabe for years after that. Until the internet. Kayfabe would have gotten ruined with the internet regardless. The internet, people know too much. And let me tell you how annoying Dave Meltzer's fucking Twitter is. He argues with himself all day. <laughs> I yelled at him the other day. I said, 1.7 billion AEW's worth? 
I said, where do you get that fucking number? Your asshole? <laughs> Maybe it's from all the wings. <laughs> and the woo. And woo. The, and the, the woo weed and the woo juice and the wings. It's not woo juice. It's just the woo energy drink. Whatever. I don't know. They, nobody's drinking it either. <laughs> just put it on the table on dynamite and rampage and whatever. And nobody's drinking it. Shouldn't you be drinking it like product placement? You know, probably tastes like ass. It's probably like Ric Flair. Probably man. like you know, sweaty swap ass mixed with diarrhea. <laughs> it's the flavor. It tweaks coffee from South. It's like Park. if you feel tweaks. <laughs> no, right? first season of South Park. It's like a warm cup of tweaks coffee. He goes what? Your no, coffee tastes Twix. like three-day-old moldy diarrhea. No, Tweak's coffee would have meth in it. Yeah, but Tweak was like, ah, ah. That's why he was like that, because yeah. they had, because they had meth in it. Ah. <laughs> well, he owed Dave Vicky to sign extension with AAA, because I guess they're, you know, they're trying to build their midget uh, class back, so. Hey, hey, that guy could beat your ass. Oh, I mean, midgets can kick my ass. I'm not over like, I'm not over here. Like, many of you have never seen me, you know. I'm not like, you know, Charles Atlas. You mean Tony Atlas? Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. Tony Atlas is that more recent guy. Yeah, he was when I was a kid. He's the black dude, Mr. USA. Yeah, who got sent to the Klan meeting by... Uh... Oh, with Dickie Murdoch. Yeah, by Dickie Murdoch. He thought it was hysterical. Who? Dickie Murdoch. <laughs> It is kind of funny, though. No, it's not. He could have gotten killed. Yeah. Well. Oh, so I hear something I, I I never got to talk about 2K22. I want to talk about... 2K22 or 24? Uh, I mean, I mean 24. Okay. The new one coming out in the spring. March 8th or something. I don't know. I'm not getting it. But Cody's going to be on the cover. Yes, I read that today. The showcase modes, WrestleMania, 40 years of WrestleMania, like I said before. Which should be really good, like I said, and from 2K14. And the pre-order bonuses are... Rhea Ripley, right? No, no, that's no, the cover. Rhea that's Ripley the other is cover. Bian- and Bianca Belair are on the deluxe edition cover. It's the two of them, and then the collector's edition cover is this custom artwork of like a bunch of old, like it's got like Lesnar, Hogan, Michael. They showed in-game graphics of Hogan Andre with the WrestleMania three banner in the back. Shh. So I imagine. Well, then they. I don't have- think you did that in fourteen. You did Savage and Steamboat. They did the interviews and everything. Randy Savage or Tiger. They better do Billy Jack Haynes versus Hercules. They are not going to do that. <laughs> and nobody gives a shit from us doing it last week. Did you listen to last week's episode, Doug? Yeah, I did. You could hear it perfectly. Yes. I so bring you down. laughing. You laughing. Just like Atlas. I bring it down. Sam, Atlas, and Billy Jack Haynes. You're going to feel the fear. You're going to feel the wrath. We're going to find out who the true master of the full Nelson is. Here. Right here. And the Pontiac Silverdome. And get it right. It is Billy Jack Haynes. <laughs> For the record, it is Billy Jack Haynes. <laughs> per Dave Meltzer. Rollins versus... No, but I didn't finish. Oh, I'm sorry. So, WWE 2K24. So, um, they're, they're adding three new match types. Special referee, which... Um, uh, oh, that SmackDown back. versus that was, Raw 2007 had. That um, was also in... 2K, 13, 14, and 16. Oh, but now they're bringing that back. They're adding... They're going to add casket matches. Oh, not since the old SmackDowns for PlayStation. And ambulance slash stretcher matches. Well, I think that has something to do with the WrestleMania mode. Okay, well, have there been big stretcher matches at WrestleMania? I don't remember. I remember... When I was a kid, Sid Vicious used to bring out a stretcher to scare people because remember, he did the heart punch. I remember... Ox Baker's the big one. I remember in AEW, they had the Guns versus the Acclaimed, which we can talk about after I talk about this. Was that a sneaker match? No, um, they had a dumpster match. They put the uh, guns into a dumpster, locked up the dumpster, and then pushed it over. They got covered in garbage. That's it? What do you mean? What, Did you ever see the original dumpster match? No, who's in that? The New Age Outlaws versus uh, Mick Foley and Chainsaw Charlie. Cactus Jack and Terry Funk. No. They threw them off the stage at Raw in the uh, in That's the what dump. they did. Yeah, but they, they, they didn't they... come out, and they got hurt. Or it was like, I don't know if it was fake. I still don't know today if it was real or not. But that was how... No, but they put them in the dumpster, they locked it, and then they pushed it off like the entrance ramp. And then they had a double dumpster match rematch at WrestleMania. Or when they threw them in the dumpster, it wasn't a match. They just threw them in a the dumpster and threw them off the stage. They had a dumpster match at WrestleMania. And so as I was saying, bonus. so here's the pre-order bonus for Cody. You get Stardust. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, uh, Dustin Rhodes was in a match recently. With Swerve, right? No, it wasn't. That was at the pay-per-view. I forget. That was awful. Oh, no. He wrestled Christian on Don Might, and it was pretty good. Christian! And he got up on the turnbuckle, and he did this. <laughs> oh, he did Goldust? Uh, 
Goldust one of my favorite characters no, so of he's, all time. You get Stardust, you get undashing Cody Rhodes. With the mask? Yes. Do you get mustache Cody Rhodes from Team Rhodes Scholars with Damian Sandow? I don't know. Uh, you also then get... It was a e- shitty mustache. 76... Worse than yours. Dusty Rhodes... Oh, like 76, like NWA World Champion, Dusty Rhodes. And then you also get, for some reason, apparently because he was one of Dusty's rivals, superstar Billy Graham. Well, he also just passed away. Oh, uh, okay. They have a good match on Halloween of 77 at Madison Square Garden. Texas bull rope match. Bloody as hell. It's when Graham was the champ. All right. Uh, and apparently there's going to be more... Uh, uh, there's going to be more wrestlers that said there's going to be more stuff in my GM... Gonna be new My Rise mode, which yeah. I like to play sometimes. You said uh, My GM the other year was like, eh. You said there's no reason to play it when the other. Did the you get 23. Get, I I got 23 in like months later. I, I got 22 it. months. No, I bought 22. I bought the NWO pack. Like yeah, it was, was like 120 like bucks. I don't think I've ever touched a fucking. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. Where you got? I Hogan, used it for WrestleMania for the where, channel last year. Where you got Hogan Nash. Uh... Uh, Hall and Six. Hey, yo. Uh, all right, are we double talking about the game? Yeah, and then also we had on Collision this week, we had the formation of a new super group. Oh, Jesus. Which will probably I break... I purposely up, left this out. Which will probably break apart in time for the... By the next episode of Collision. In time for the pay-per-view, I was going to say. Oh. Uh, the, uh, the Bang Bang Scissor Gang. That's too many fucking words. It's too busy. Bang Bang Scissor Gang is four. That's the name of the group? Yeah, Bang Bang Scissor Gang. It's four words. And why are they why are they good guys? <coughs> bang bang. Because I think that <coughs> it's supposed to be that they're I mean, acting and that they're gonna do a, a double turn. Try to take the six man belt. Yes, and then they're gonna do a match, hopefully to unify the ROH six man belts. Yeah, because it'll be it'll be Jay White the two guns, right? Because yeah. is it Juice Hurt? Yeah, Juice had back surgery. And Jay they're... White, that's great. He goes from a world title match to the fucking six man. Great. Think about it. he's he's probably kicking himself for not going to WWE. They have done nothing with him. That's not all. true. He he got to the semifinals of the Continental Classic. Big fucking deal. Those tournaments are only good when you they only remember who won the fucking tournament. <laughs> in fact, it was Eddie Kingston. I was gonna say I don't remember who won that fucking tournament, but I do. Well, well, he lost to Moxley in that match. So, per Dave Meltzer, God, I hate saying that. <laughs> Rollins versus Punk. For the World Heavyweight title, and now this obviously, I wrote this note before the torn MCL. The big thing for WrestleMania is supposed to be Rollins and Punk for the World Heavyweight title, and Reigns versus Cody, or The Rock, or a three way. Probably a three way because they've done big three ways at WrestleMania 20 and 30. But what's the payoff? Well, that would be in line with what you wanted to do. But what's the payoff for bringing The Rock at 50 some years old? I know he's in good shape. Because it's for the nostalgia pop. But why doesn't he, why don't you swerve everybody? And make him sign with his family. And then maybe fuck Cody out of it and have Cody uh, fight The Rock. That would be good. I don't know. I'm you telling see you. How many, I'm I don't know you. if he's going to be coming back now since the strike's over. I'm telling you, Roman's never going to lose the belt. They're going to have him break Bruno San Martino's record and then retire. Young Bucks promo about locker room. Yes, dances I saw this. Apparently praised backstage. But I wrote it won't matter when AEW closes because none of these assholes look at his. AEW's not going to fucking close. Hey, you, never you dumb fuck. Hey, no need for that. I was reading stuff about I've how... I've forgotten more about wrestling. The young, bug, that the young bucks are going to be uh, becoming like... Uh, the new Mr. McMahon character, you said. Yeah, and now I'm telling you, they should be like heel authority But figures. it's been done already. It's been done. Everyone's done heel authority I know, figures. but you can do it a little bit different. There's so just something... They will. There's a reason you can always do a good heel authority figure, because it's just something that works. Let's stick with the Bucks here for a second, though, too. Sting's final match at Revolution will be with Darby against the Bucks, it sounds like. Yes. Apparently, Sting asked him for this. Also, per fuckface Meltzer, the tag belts may be back on the Bucks by then, so they may be on the line. Why are you going to give Sting... You're not going to have Sting lose his retirement match, are you? You might. I don't know. Flair lost his. No. He was. He had the winner. He retired. I don't know. I'd have to see. I'd have to look back. At no, the- no, no, no. The match he had with Michaels? Yeah, he... Uh, but that, that wasn't was, really he his... He said re- if he lost, he would retire. But that wasn't really his retirement match. No, you're right, you're right. Because 
I mean, he, he just had a match like a year ago. But I'm just saying, why would you give Sting a title in his final match if you're going to do it to vacate it the uh, next No, day? I mean, Bret Hart wanted to keep the title until he vacated at Survivor Series 97 and then he vacated the next day. He was ridiculous with that, though. I mean, you talk about a guy who took himself too seriously. I mean, you Shut dropped him out on the way Don't the- try to justify the Montreal screw job to me. I am. As, as the owner of the company, it's my belt. I'm taking it back. You can't go... You can't have, especially in the middle of a war, the Monday Night War, and they were hotter than WWF was down there in Atlanta. You can't have the guy go on TV and just drop the belt and thank the fans. Why don't you just lay down and have a piss in your mouth? <laughs> it's your fucking belt. Take it back, which is what Cornette said. God damn it, Vince, it's your belt. Take it back, double cross him. He goes, put him in a ring with Shamrock. Now, Shamrock wouldn't have done it because they were friends. But that's where they came up with the whole screen. Ken Shermark, first ever NWA TNA champion. First ever UFC super... No, second. First UFC super fight champion, I think, was Royce Gracie. Yes. Uh, Yes, the first tournament... I saw that live, too. Those were great back in the day. Yeah, because they weren't regulated. Get a bunch of teenage guys together with some beards, pot, and a hot box. And we would be watching UFC. And this is back when it was banned in certain states. Because John McCain had it taken off pay-per-view for a while. So they would do it. You weren't allowed to do it in New York. They would go out on barges in the middle of the water. Oh, that was fucking great. And it was like a tough man contest. But your boy Kenny Omega, you been following you that? Yeah I, yeah, I know. I saw that he's not going to be able to have surgery. because Not for at least another seven weeks. The verticulitis. It's so inflamed that he has to rest for another seven weeks. I feel very bad for him. Because look at you, he's, actually carried for him. For because one. they miss him on there, they do. I mean, he's a guy that'll put up a quality match against pretty much anybody, even so, Jericho. In spite of Jericho, let's just be honest here. Just like Will Osprey, in spite of Jericho, remember at all? What'd you say? It was like this match. What was it? Uh, Jericho and Omega against the Bucks. Like, it was like this Omega match was Kenny Omega wearing a two hundred pound vest to weigh him down against the Bucks. And again, the Bucks are one of the best tag teams of all time. Oh. Oh. And like they had this great interview that they did with um, Renee Paquette, where they are like, "Sonny okay, Renee," as I call her now. So it's weird, something like leather and go tight fight yourself. And rough. What up? Your a catchphrase? Thing. What? Maybe it is. So trademark that. Go fuck yourself. You can't even fight with Christian Cage. Go go Christian. Speaking of, him, I don't know what happened to Tyson Tomko. Tyson Tomko, wow. Well, I'm just saying, because he was Christian's, he was always Christian's heater. Yeah, it's true. He was Christian's heater Back at WWF and TNA. Yeah, they, they both left together. I don't know, that's a good move. I've look, heard look, about him look, 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 look that up for next week. I, yeah. I, I, I want to find out what branch of supermarket he's bagging groceries at currently. Shane Douglas works at Walmart, I suppose. He's a... Uh, his podcast is decently popular, though. Shane Douglas. Franchise University. The franchise! That guy gets a bad rap, and a lot of things in the Attitude Era were copied off of him and stolen from him. Like, like Triple, Triple H's, H's gimmick? character with the... Yeah. And he was always a good talker. Uh, Douglas. I, I, I like Shane Douglas. I don't care what anybody says. I always have. Wait, what was I going to say? I forget. I actually had a conversation with him through email one time, and he was going to do... Uh, what was it? He was writing... Uh, he was doing a promotion up in Philadelphia it didn't last very long they're like something rising or like hardcore rising or something I sent him an email I was like dude I'll do anything I was a huge fan of yours I will get you coffee I don't care I'll do anything you want um, oh, here, here's what I wanted to say so there's a thing where the Bucks were getting interviewed by Renee and she was like okay Matt and Nick Renee call us by our given names Matthew and Nicholas that's oh Nicholas is terrible man. Kyle and Nicholas Massey Call us by our Christian names at Boating Buck and Road Warrior Buck. You stole that from Cornet. You don't even know why that's funny. I'm going to find out, though. I'm going to email Castle Cornet and find out. Ash by Elegance being compared to Tony Storm. Yeah, yeah. I will go one even further. It's a direct ripoff. But, man, do I love that. I mean, she's skinnier now. I liked her when she was a bigger oinker. What the fuck are you saying? Sue Jim Ross says AEW contract renewal is still pending. Much of that makes you happy. Expires 214. Telling you, the commentary team always needs to be Excalibur, Taz, and Nigel McGuinness. That's all you need. All right, finally, from the format here, before we go off the rails and talk about some crazy bullshit like we do at the end every week, 
Dark Side of the Ring Season 5 topics reported by Wrestling Inc. I used to subscribe to them, actually. Okay, Black Saturday. Isn't that when Vince took over the Georgia Championship Wrestling TV contract? Oh, yes, it is. And that was a messy, messy situation. Right, he bought the TV channels. Yeah, because you would just go in there, like I told you, back when he was moving around. You go into, like, KTLA in Los Angeles, and you're like, how much are you paying? How much is Michael LaBelle paying you for a championship wrestler from Hollywood to be on TV? They're like, you know, a thousand a week. They're like, well, I'll give you three. Well, Michael LaBelle, you're out, dude. That's all you had to do. That sounds so illegal. Well, it you is probably now. can't do it now. But these TV execs, you know, they wanted the money. I mean. Oh, so now here's something I wanted to do because we have not done this in a Wait while. Wait a minute. We didn't do did, did I? Well, hold on. It was Black Saturday is the one topic, right? Yeah. Kurt Angle's going to have an episode. I'm sure, since it's Vice, it's going to have to do with his drug addiction. So you're going you're gonna to love that. No, because cause here's one thing that I didn't like. Because I watched A&E WWE documentaries. Which WWE? They're better than Vice, aren't they? No, they are not. Really? They're terrible because because I heard Dark Side of the Ring has been going downhill the last couple of years. They have higher production value. Yeah. But because WWE themselves is involved in the production, sure. But so I know that's just Vice doing it. Yeah. yeah, So you don't get an unbiased picture of what's going on. Oh. Like when they do the one about Kurt Angle, they don't talk. They they. Well, why would they talk about his drug use? It looks bad. Yeah, but they, they let him work there or, while he they had a drug barely problem. mentioned that, and they mentioned TNA in like one breath. Yeah, he spent yeah. half his career over there. Hey, I'll tell you what. I have that. I have that CM Punk WWE Blu-ray from like ten years ago up there. That's got Ring of Honor footage in it. IWA Mid South, all sorts of shit. All they right. had to buy it. I think. You know, but they yeah, they Black Saturday was the one, and they're gonna have Angle. the Sandman, which will be an interesting one. But the but, time he overdosed backstage and then went out and wrestled, Buff Bagwell. Which I'm I talking imagine. about how? What? Talking about wait, you talking about Sammy? No, no, but like with Buff Bagwell, like what happened with him? He, you know, they'll probably talk about. You know, he started out as Marcus Alexander Bagwell. He was rookie of the year. He'd go to Buff Bagwell, then the neck injury that put him out, and then his mom getting kidnapped. his mom being in there. And, you know, former WCW World Tag Team Champion, the late Judy Bagwell, just passed away. Um, Judy Bagwell on four. Points. Then he, you know, he was in the the original. Nitro test match on Raw. That guy. And then now he's a gigolo, I hear. <laughs> he's married, but he sleeps with women for money. And Brutus Beefcake. Who's be only it. known for being Hogan's friend. No, about the parasailing accident. That's what ended his career for years. Oh. He had his face crushed in a parasail. And cr- gentleman Chris Adams, the who is... Inventor, trainer of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Inventor of the super kick. And Norman Smiley's partner in the tag team tournament of the universe. <laughs> I am a consummate hardcore athlete in WCW. Ah! You screams better than mine. But Chris it's, Adams, they're going to go over probably, uh, you know, his uh, his dynamic duo tag team years with Gina Hernandez. Gina Hernandez died. They found him dead of a drug overdose. In okay, class. now, since it's been like two, three months since we've done this, I wanted to go over this again. Let's do Keeper Cut again on the AEW roster. Keeper Cut? Yeah. Oh, my pleasure. I always be like, I'm going to write a song for you called Cut, 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 Aaron Solo. Who? Aaron Solo. Cut. Why do you need him? Action Andretti. Cut. No, he's got a funny gimmick now where he does action. You're asking me, though. He does action hydration. Takes a water bottle, full water bottle, puts it in his mouth and crushes it. And then he, like, hulks up. I just want to cut him even more of that. Next. Adam Cole. He's a dude. He's not even really. He's there. You gotta keep him. You gotta keep him. Oh, you have to keep his injury. He's one of the main eventers. Yeah, but he's not gonna wrestle for God knows how long. That's Adam the problem Copeland. with. Keep him, honestly. Adam Page. Keep him. I've worked up with Adam Page. Alex Reynolds in the Dark Order. Everybody in the Dark Order should be Adam John. On Helico. Still there? Is Jack Evans still there, too? <laughs> no. <laughs> Christ. Those are like Lucha Underground guys. Yeah. Cool hand Angelo Parker. Send the ball this way. Anthony Bowens will be acclaimed. Oh, obviously, you keep them. They're, they're champions. They're, they're, they're over as like crazy. Uh, Governor Anthony Agogo. Is that right? No. AR Fox. Bye. Yeah. Ari Davari. Bye. Austin Gunn. Yeah, keep him. He, he, he's, he's in a decent faction. Bandito. I haven't like seen him, him I haven't seen him for. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, these guys don't like creative. They just sit their asses at home and Tony pays them because he's a moron. Or some of the foreign guys, they'll go back to their countries for a bit. But that's what happens with Pat. He goes yeah, back to back Big up. Bill. Big Bill's good. That's uh, yeah. Cass, right? Well, he's a champ right now with Ricky, right? Billy Gunn. Keep him, obviously. 
I don't know how much longer you're gonna be able to keep it. Bishop Khan. Bishop Khan of the Mogul Embassy. One of Swerve's heaters. Oh, he's one of Swerve's people. Swerve doesn't need a heater. He, he, he can get heat for cheers on his own. That pass. Hey. Brandon Cutler. And I guess he can be the box. Brian Cage. He's still there. Yeah, the Swolverine. I was on the big dude. Yes, he's on Royd's probably. Brody King. Uh, Captain Spalding. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Danielson. I was with you. Go watch later. Buddy Matthews. Keep him. Cash Wheeler. FTR. Half of FTR. Cash Wheeler? Yeah. Keep him. Chris Jericho. Oh. Throw in the dumpster. Throw him out of the building. And make him, and make him leave his shoes. Chris Throw him out barefoot. Chris Case is a great deal. Christopher Daniels. He doesn't really on TV. He saw, I saw him in Ring of Honor recently. He was on yeah, one of the Ring of Honor I saw, shows. I saw that match. He can still do like the high flying. Moves. Oh yeah, but I mean, he's not. He's not like spotlight. He can enough. still do like the BME and the Angels Wings. He's and, a backstage guy, right? Yeah, he's yeah. the head of talent relations. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The Kentucky Gentleman, Chuck Taylor. I don't want to see him on any card I have ever gone to. Claudio. Uh, Claudio is a fucking beast. Colt Cabana. Boom, boom. See you later. Yeah. No, no, they gotta keep him just a spike punk. Why? They can spite all they want. They're all making money. Bu- WWE's making money now, dude. Colton Gunn. Keep him in the book. Austin Gunn's brother. Dan Housen. Oh, you know how I feel about him. Did you say pay him by appearance, come out and curse people? Jesus Christ, boy, if you don't come under the ring. Daniel Garcia. Don't bother me. Daniel Garcia. You know what? I'm going to say keep him. Because they, they they're doing paired, something with They him. paired him up with FTR now. He's having a... Well, they're running out of people to put with him. They took their best friend. They fired their best friend. They, they, they're they doing something. It's the night of the Royal Rumble. They're still doing collision. They're having a cage match between the House of Black and the FTR and Daniel Garcia. It's a six-man oh, elimination. So it's Matthews, Malachi, and Brody King yeah. versus FTR. And, and a six-man it. elimination tag inside a steel cage. That's a tornado tag, too, probably. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, that's a lot for a cage. I would rather do like a hell in the cell. Cage. Dante Martin. Bye. Darby Allen. Oh god, he's amazing. He's gonna break his fucking neck one of these days. Darius Martin. Uh bye bye. Dax Harwood, G Gordon Liddy. Oh, I love Dax Harwood. I, I like Dax better than uh Cash. Drolistico. Who? Drolistico. I, I one idea. of the luchadors. Uh, I don't know. Dustin yeah. Rhodes. Uh useful as a coach down the line and a spot guy. I would keep Reliable. Dutch from the Righteous. <laughs> remember Dutch? Yes, I remember. It's Dutch, the Righteous. Are you going to keep or cut? It's them. I don't know. They're in a group now. You need heel groups. Is it an Archer, the Righteous, Jake Roberts, and Jake Roberts' oxygen tank? No, Jake Roberts doesn't have the oxygen tank anymore. I saw him come out recently. He doesn't have Is the he oxygen smoking tank. again? Does he come out smoking? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see the big show do that back in the day? No. He came out to the ring smoking a cigarette. And he beat up Ray Mysterio. He didn't put the cigarette out. Uh, Eddie Kingston. I like Eddie. One of the most over guys on the roster. He's just a tough guy. Too. Ethan Page. All ego Ethan Page. He's mainly in Ring of Honor now, See I think. See, take Ring of Honor and explode it. Evil Uno, the Dark Order. Pizzeria Uno. No. <laughs> when they came out when, with the ring crew. <laughs> Remember that? I mean, right there should tell you that you're wasting your body. Griff Garrison. He hasn't done shit. Lex. Even with Pillman there. The, the former partner of, of the superstar Rex now known King. whose fans apparently call themselves registered Alex offenders in NXT. That's not a bad name. Brian Pillman, he said that he doesn't... He says that he thinks it's creative, but he, he, he doesn't think it belongs on television. He's not going anywhere. Well, I can't even see him go. His whole character... I never thought he could talk to begin with in AEW, but like he just looks like... They look like they crossed his father with a gay stripper. I mean, it's like... The I, West Hollywood Blondes? Oh. Do you remember them? Who's that? I think it was Lenny and Lodi. Lenny and Lodi? <laughs> yeah, you WCW? remember WCW? Yeah. They were They were in Raven's Flock. Yeah, they were two of Lenny, Lodi, Van Hammer, who was there <laughs> in like 91 when I was a little kid. <laughs> Dancing Stevie Richards. They never quite... Stevie never fit in over there because Stevie came with him. And then in the TNA, club. he was Dr. Stevie Richards. He was a psychiatrist. He was Daphne's psychiatrist. I remember. I saw that. I, I watched that skit. I thought it was awful. 
Uh, and then also Kevin Nash was a, was a was a therapist. He was Kurt Angle's therapist. That those are some hilarious. Moving things. on, Hook. I oh, keep especially after that match last week. Brother Zay, Isaiah Cassidy. Bye bye. Jack Perry. I don't really know what they're. I think I don't know what he's, he's doing. He's in New Japan to make it look like he's not there. I won't want to see him ever again. I think keeping him around, like, the fact that, I understand it, maybe what you're talking about, Punk shouldn't have goozled him and grabbed him by the throat. But like I said, you don't owe that make a fuck out of me on, on television. Jake Hager. He's still there? Yeah. I always like Jake Hager. But he's not doing anything. Cut him. That's Jay, what I mean. You're wasting money on this guy. Jay Lethal. And Jay's like a jobber right now, but you need that. Jay White. Uh, Jay White, supreme athlete, supreme athlete. Jeff Hardy. Bye. Jeff Jarrett. Slap nuts. Bye. Slap him all the way out the door. John Silver, Dark Order. Bye. You have to say Dark Order. Bye. Johnny TV. Is Johnny Nitro? Yeah. With Johnny Morrison? Yes. I keep him. I love John Morrison. John Moxley, AEW's ace. I have to keep him. Jose, the assistant. <laughs> Just because it makes me laugh, yeah. Technical Beast, Josh Woods. No idea. That fat black dude that wears the swim trunks? No, that's... uh No, no. no. That's Jonathan... No, Something. no, no, that's Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor, I knew it was Taylor. I was going to say Jonathan. Jonathan Gresham's in TNA after he got... No, I, I knew it wasn't Gresham. Gresham's a midget. He's like five foot three. No, no, Shane Taylor's huge. He all had right. a match with Samoa Joe at, uh, at All Out, I think it was. Yeah, he did. It was All Out. Yeah. Because I made a new joke about the pants. They were ridiculous. I'm like, dude, shorts are going out of your ankles? Pants, okay? Rock hard, Juice Robinson. Oh, I love Juice. Katsuyori Shibata. The man whose brain has been returned to him. Yes, keep him. Limitless Keith Lee. Is he going to get in the fucking ring? He's not he wrestles things. one match. He's like, I got to have heart surgery. Yeah, because you got back, front, and side titties. You lose some weight. <laughs> back bacon. What you call him? Back, back bacon? bacon Keith Lee. Kenny Omega. Oh, yeah. Keep Kenny. Kill Switch. Luchasaurus? Yeah. I don't care. He's Christian's heater. He's his, I, he's his bodyguard. He doesn't need a heater. He's Kip, all heat. Kip Sabian. Get him out of there. C- Commander. He's good. He's a luchador, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kanosuke like Takeshita. Oh, yeah. He's money. Big. He's like a six foot five Japanese person. That's like being eight feet tall over there. Kodo Bushi. I like Kodo. The, the, uh, Kodo Ibushi. Yes, I like uh, him. If he gets to somehow get back in shape. Yeah, he's, he's hurt now, too. Kyle he? Fletcher. From uh, Aussie Open. Yeah. Don't know enough to say. Kyle. Hey, well, they're making their return as a tag team on the Jericho's. At the end of the month. Oh, the Jericho's. It's that time of year, huh? Who's he going to rape on there and send an NDA to? Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly, who's been out for over a year now. Oh, my God. He's been out since, like, Bobby Fish left. Yeah. Lance They're Arch- talking about Fish might come back, too, they think. Because they might do, like, the Undisputed Era or the Undisputed Kingdom. Well, it's called the Undisputed Kingdom. Yeah. So, Lance Archer. I always like Murder Hawk, Lance Archer. Big Shoddy Lee Johnson. I have no idea what they're doing with him. No idea. Lee Moriarty? No. Luther the butler, Tony Storm's butler. You have to keep him right now because he's he's helping her out. Malachi Black? Uh, keep him. Mark Briscoe? I know you don't like him, but keep he's him. over with keep the people. Him. He is. Mark Davis, the other half of Aussie Open? I guess keep him. Smart Mark Sterling? Uh, no idea. Mark Quinn, the other half of Private Party? Uh, no. Matt Hardy? No. Matt Jackson. I guess you have to keep them. Daddy Magic, Matt Menard. No idea. Matt Seidel. I, I like him. Matt Taven. Yeah, they're tag team champions right now, okay? Uh, Ring of Honor tag team champions. Come on, they got a belt. You got to keep them. Max Caster, obviously. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Michael Nakazawa. Uh, still there. Yeah, Mike Bennett. Looks like a male stripper in this picture. He's still, they got a belt there, so you got to. Mike him. Santana. Santana, I, I keep him too. Miro. Oh yeah, redeem you. Nick Cormorado. Bye bye. Nick Jackson. You can't keep one fuck and not the other. Nick Wayne, the prodigy. Yeah, I keep him. AEW International Champion Orange Cassidy. Oh yeah, I keep him. I've warmed up to him too. Ortiz. Keep saying Italian, might as well keep him. Pac. I like Pac too. Parker Boudreau. Bye. Paul White, who doesn't wrestle. Bye. He does, he does commentary. Bye. Uh, okay. Nobody needs that either. Pento El Zero Miedo. Yes, keep him. 
Pretty Peter Avalon. Oh, the librarian cocksucker. No. No. Green is absolutely tur- not. Green as turtle shit Hobbs. Eh, hey, keep him. Who don't like a big black dude that's got muscles and throws people around? Preston Vance. Besides a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, no. No Preston Vance. One of the best managers, Prince Nana. I'll, I'll let you keep him. He's over. I'll let you keep him because he's managing Swerve. Uh, Ray Phoenix. <sighs> Yeah, you got to keep him, too. You're keeping a lot more people this time around. Ricky Starks. Yeah. Roderick Strong. Yeah, but I'm keeping it for AEW. I'm doing this under the guise of Ring of Honor's got to go. Okay. Who's, because who, Roderick who Strong. Is Roderick Strong, yeah. Keep because him. he's going to have a match with Orange Cassidy for the International Championship at Revolution next month. Or beginning of March. Cool. Uh, Roosh. I heard he is one of the slowest people that you've ever seen. I he don't know hard. enough about him. He hits hard. Skip past that one. I, I, I Sammy don't Guevara. Cut. I don't like his face. He looks like a douchebag. He looks like a girl. He, he looks like Charlie Sheen. Like he wants to be, like he's on his halfway there to be in trans or something. Like he's on his way there. Right, like he sense. wants to be. Samoa Joe. He has very feminine features. Oh, well, obviously he's your world champion. You Satnam Singh. I haven't seen him in a while. See you, Satnam. Scorpio Sky, who sits at home. That's... My ass saying no. Serpentico. Who? The captain, Sean Dean. No. Sanjay Dutt, who's on the booking committee now. <sighs> Doesn't mean he has to wrestle. Well, he apparently does like work with like the technical stuff backstage. And Sting, he's about to retire. Yeah, Sto- well, I would keep him if he wasn't retired. Stokely Hathaway. I just want to see where Eddie Kingston get his hands on him one time. Stu Grayson. Dark Order. Uh, no, he's in Ring of Honor doing something. But he's Dark Order, isn't he? He was. Yeah, he, he fuck him. He's going. Swerve, one of the most over people in the company. Oh, God, yeah, you keep him. Absolutely. Butcher and Blade. What do you think? They. I've only ever seen them and Kip Sabian. I've never seen them. Ever. They're, they're on Rampage. Yeah, oh, fuck him. Get rid of him. Get to- rid of Rampage, too, while you're at it. Yes. Toa Leona. Because they're tight. Who's that? This guy. He's Bishop Khan's tag team partner. They're two of Swerve's lackeys. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Tony Nice, the premier athlete. I would like to keep him, but do they see him ever? He's in Ring of Honor. That's a goddamn shame for him. Trent Beretta. He is in keep him. bionic shape. Keep him. Vincent. Virgil? No, from, Vin- oh, no, Vincent, from Vincent Dutch. Dutch. Are you kidding? I wish they had uh, Virgil, also known as Vincent, also known as Curly Bill. A.K.A. Mike Jones. <laughs> Did you ever look up the West Texas rednecks I told you about in WCW? Yeah, uh, no. Who He's is in he? it. <laughs> Black guy in a redneck group, because they allow that, you know. Wardlow, who's uh, now... Yeah, a, he's over, and he's in... Um, uh, Undisputed Kingdom. He's the heater. We were Yuta. He deserves his time, too. We were Yuta. Wheeler, Wheeler useless. Eh, keep him. And Will Osprey. Oh, God. He just got him. He's totally... Women's roster... Uh, Abaddon. Get rid of them all. I, I, she's awful. She, I, I don't even want to look at her. Anna J. Anna J's hot. Why do you have the Vault 111? Oh, it's just a, it's a joke. It's a Star Wars meme. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, Athena, Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Oh, that's old... Uh, what the hell is her name in WWE? Ember Moon. Ember Moon, yeah. Well, yeah. She's, Rick Baker, who's injured right now. Another one that hasn't been on TV in forever. She she hurt her, I think her elbow or something. Doctor, Br- uh, I mean, uh, Deanna Perazzo. just got there. A very good talent. Diamante. Don't know. Emmy Sakura. No idea. Harley Cameron. No idea. Hikaru Shida. She's good. Uh, Jamie Hader, who's been out for like a year now. She's but she's good too. But she like tore her shoulder or something. Yeah, people. Julia say- Hart. Yeah, she's good. She's House of Black, right? Yeah, Kiara Hogan. Nah, I don't know. Chris Statlander. I like her. Layla Gray. I don't know. Legit Layla Hirsch. No idea. Madison Rain. I've seen her, but I don't remember. The Glamour, Mariah May. No idea. The Problem, Marina Shafir. She's good. Mercedes Martinez. No idea. The OG Badass, Nyla Rose. She did. She's transgender. She's the trans one. That's the the only reason I remember her. I, I like her. I, I like her. Keep her. Paige Van Zant wrestled one match two years ago. Hasn't been seen since. Yeah, but she's on the roster probably making 750 k a year 
for doing nothing but letting her ass get fatter at home. So next, Penelope Ford. No idea. Rebel. No idea. Red Velvet. The cake. No, uh, basic. Uh, Riho. I'd rather watch a Red Velvet cake than some of these people. Uh, Riho's. Riho. She's she's good. Ruby Soho. Ruby Soso. Yeah, I could live. I I, I could take Soraya. Her. Again, I could take her leave her. The Woman of a Thousand Holds, Serena Deeb, making her comeback. I like her. I like her. Sky Blue. Yeah, she's good, too. Ty Mello. Can't cut her. She's on maternity leave. Could if it was the 50s. <laughs> Sadly, yes. Ty of Valkyrie. She's good, too. Thunder Rosa. I, I, I would She was good her. at NWA Power. I she don't was, like her. She was NWA Woman. Ty was Tony Storm. Oh, she's doing great stuff. Willow her, Nightingale. Her thick thighs. Will I like you? Go, eh. Over. Yuka Sakazaki. Because that's right. Next. The, uh, that's it. And, and then we just have the announce team. Huh. They should cut Kevin Kelly. No. No, no, no. They should cut Ian Riccoboni. Yeah. Next week, though, uh, I want you to look up something and try to stump me next week. What? Try to, try to find some old wrestling from when I was younger. Try to stump me. Because I think Sandy that's it. We ran, over, we ran over an hour tonight. So. Sandy Beach. No, not say anything. Just see what you can find. Let me see what it is before. Let me tell me what it is before you do it. Sign off. Good night, everybody.